All right, I'm setting up my crab traps. I've only got two. Got to put a big old R on your floats. All right. Then I got these things from PetSmart. It's got my address and everything on the front of it. I'm just gonna use a crimp set and I'm going to crimp it onto the cage. And now it's permanently attached. I got mullet in the bag. So see you guys in a bit. Alright. I ended up throwing a five pound weight in here just because I didn't want my traps to move at all. But this is the bait door. I'll take these mullet and I'm just gonna cut them a little bit that way the smell goes in the water a little better and then close it up all right then we're gonna throw them out there I ended up picking this area. Got a bunch of rocks. There's a drop off, bigger than I thought it was gonna be, and then just mud. So hopefully we get some crabs. We're gonna do some fishing later, maybe some gigging, and uh, we'll come back and check them. All right, we're back out here. I know I've only let these be in the water for a couple hours, but I figured we'd come and check them as long as they don't fall on these rocks. So uh, let's walk out here. Yeah, I'll keep those two. That guy's going back. Let me check this other one. Well, they don't fall in. <laughs> they were all on the outside of the trap. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yep. Steve came over and wanted to. Uh, see what you had for him. <laughs> All right. We got him rebaited, going to throw him back out. You remember for which side goes down? <laughs> yeah. I was letting those ones just get fat. Yeah. Man, them rocks are slippery. Just so you guys know, we got down to the boat ramp. I'm gonna go fishing in the kayaks. All right, first fish of the night. Little baby red. I know he's a monster, right? All right, guys. Sorry I didn't get that on camera, but uh, this guy just smoked a shrimp. I'm not sure what he's gonna measure out at. So let me get the fish grips in him, get him measured, and I'll let y'all know. All right, guys, as you can see, he is just shy of 18, which is the minimum. So looks like Brad's hooked up over there. So he's going to go back. All we're doing is fishing dock lights and we're free lining dead shrimp. Bait shop was out of live shrimp, so got to make do. It's getting better. The tide's finally moving. We're finally catching some reds even though they've been short it was just croaker and pinfish for a while rod's having difficulties over there that's the what fourth red on this spot yep so brad just hooked up oh man he's super pretty he's super red yeah he's been living in this bush for a while probably oh, all right he's legal sweet 18 First... and three quarters first red all right we're back out here again got my two traps there's a lot of people out here i hope they didn't get messed with we well, got two nice ones and a croaker and in this one we've got three Trap. 
gonna roll up the cord in the buoy and you just stuff it inside the trap it makes it easier to store you don't got a bunch of line going all over the place and then I'll go empty the bait in the water gotta get these guys out this is how you can tell it's a male it's long and pointy and then see that's what a female looks like so we're gonna we're gonna throw her back all right we end up with five i'm sorry i cannot count we ended up with four that's not much wrong too all right see you guys at the house all right guys the purpose of this little clip is because the rest of the video is going to be a voiceover because i was using the wrong cable for my new mic so bear with me and uh yep all right i got back to the house ended up with the six blue crab and a redfish from last night it's actually brad redfish but i kept it so i'm going to clean these guys up because tiffany doesn't like cleaning them when she uh was eating them and flay up this redfish it would take an old person hours it would probably take me a couple of seconds to do this if you blink you'll miss it so just be careful boom like i said a couple of seconds got everything all cleaned up fish filleted how you clean a blue crab just grab them by the back swimmer fins peel his top off yeah that's right his top rip his face off flip him around pull the apron then you're gonna clean his gills out it looks like i missed a little bit here that's all right and then use a hose to clean his guts out and you're good to go playing the redfish was simple all right trying to get the grill ready maximus sold my wood chips all right i'm gonna throw some olive oil on these fish fillets and some Busy Bee Seafood Black and Seasoning. You can use a good bit because it's not really salty. I'm gonna get both sides here. All right, and my can cooker is where I'm gonna cook the crab in. I've got two and a half cups of water, about a quarter cup of vinegar. Yep, that was hot. It's still hot. That's all right. I got some gloves. Yep. Third time's the charm. No one person would have melted their hand off. Alright. Alright, throwing my crab in the pot. One crab. Two crab. And then I'm gonna add slap your mama seasoning. And the tried and true old bay. We'll stir them up. I'll throw my top back on. All right, I'm making the topping for my fish and bread. We've got garlic and shallots. You're gonna add that to a saucepan on low to medium heat. And you're going to cook both those until softened. You don't want it on too high heat because you'll burn your garlic. Add the olive oil. And I've got my lime juice, my diced tomatoes, and cilantro. Alright, from my bread, it's just a baguette sliced up in little medallions. Thai and seasoning. Throw them in the toaster oven. Getting the fish ready. I need more butter. You can never have too much butter. That's Land O'Lakes herb. Add some olive oil. Gotta stir this, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Surprise. I'm making jalapeno dove poppers wrapped in bacon. I use a chipotle seasoning. I like chipotles. I'm gonna throw these on the grill on the edges. Because the center is too hot. 
and I'm adding my tomatoes and cilantro. And the lime. Gonna throw my fish on because the butter's all melted. Looking pretty. Forgot to stir this up. And I forgot to throw Maximus's dub brush on the grill. That's my pumpkin. I got him at Publix. He's pretty awesome. Alright, got the gloves on this time. Pop this top and take a look at them. Oh yeah, they've been steaming about 10 minutes. They got that bright red color going on. That's how you know they're done. Fixing Tiffany's plate up. There's the fish, the bread, the topping for the bread and fish. Get my crab out of the pot. Probably made a joke about having crabs. There's a finished product. I also made myself a bacon burger. There's the Dove Poppers and of course the Starbucks and Maximus. Alright guys, sorry about the technical difficulties. Thanks for sticking with me. I'll put that recipe down in the description. It's really good. I promise to try it. It's good with any fish. Uh, my wife really loves it with pompano. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Feel free to share. Comment down below on what you would like to see or what you liked and didn't like about this video. Alright, y'all have a good one.